Welcome to Mastering Solutions. In this general problem, we're going to try to figure out how fast Evan has to go to make up for him being late to go visit his grandma. So in order to do that, we're going to use the velocity equation, which of course is velocity is a change in distance over the change in time. Now, um, they tell us that his velocity when he's going initially, or normally when he's not late, is 55 miles per hour. And they say that that time usually takes him 25 minutes. So we don't know how far he's going. So to do that, we're going to solve for x. So if we multiply both sides of the equation by delta t, delta t. So now the distance he's going, or delta x, is equal to the velocity times the change in time. We're going to change this time here, 25 minutes, into uh, hours, just so that it will cancel out appropriately when we come up here and um, plug both of these into the equation. So 25, we want the minutes to cancel, and we know that in one hour there are 60 minutes. So 25 divided by 60. So the time it takes him is 0.4167. 0 0.4167 of an hour. Now let's plug all of this into our equation here. So delta x is equal to the velocity, which we said was 55 miles per hour. And then when we multiply that by 0 0.4167 hours, we could have rewritten this right here as miles per hour, and then when you multiply that by hours, the hours are cancel, leaving us with miles. So now 55 times what we just barely got here, so that times 55 gives us 22.92. So the distance that he drives to go to his grandma's house is 22.92 miles. So now they tell us that the trip normally takes him 25 minutes, but he has to make up those five minutes. So he has to go five minutes faster. So he has to do the whole trip in only 20 minutes. We're going to convert that over to hours. So if we divide that by 60 minutes, of course, we get one third. So now we know the distance that he has to go or the change in X. And we know the time that he has to make it up in now. So now we can just plug in our values into the equation here, 22.92 miles. And he has to do that in 0 0.333 hours. So 22.92 divided by one third gives us 68.76. So we'll just round that to 69. So he has to go 69 miles per hour. So if you think about his situation, he has to go 69, but normally he does 55. So he has to go 14 miles per hour faster. But the answer, of course, that Mastering Physics is asking for is 69 miles per hour to make up those five minutes to meet his grandma.